Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Please keep in mind this is a general love reading and some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. So do keep that in mind. Also, if you would like to become a member of my channel, Go ahead and click the join button and you can be here on Sundays to get free readings, personal mini readings from me in, when I live stream. Um, and as far as personal uh, booking personal readings with me, I'm going to be opening some slots up as I do have somebody new who will be taking readings for you guys and he has a lot of availability um, coming up and I, I really think you'll like him. All right, you guys, so let's get into your reading for April 2023. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2023? Okay, hold on one second here. My cards are like, hello. Oh, beautiful. Okay, you're starting with the butterfly and wedding rings, Virgo. Relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth, a union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, or and an everlasting promise. Okay, let's see what else is coming up here. What does Virgo also need to know? That's a very pot those are very positive messages, Virgo. So Attach yourself to that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Okay, you've got the sword and the rose. So there is clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. I love this. I love the way this reading is going. Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Let me see. And the last one, okay. Also, you have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, for focusing out. Okay. So there's a lot of different things going on here, Virgo. Um, I feel like the overall message of all four of these cards is um, there's definitely somebody who's got their eye on you in April. And um, there is an energy of possibly a revelation uh, somebody might reveal or there's communication with that sword or initiate some type of communication with you and reveal uh, kind of like um, their truth and the rose representing the heart and love so I mean Virgo this is nice okay um, it, it just feels like there's an energy of like transition happening here and growth and change that leads to an everlasting love with someone okay <laughs> i mean it's very simple it's very simple it it feels like a lot of you have made some huge changes in your lives or you are being very progressive with what you're looking for what you're hoping for um maybe opening yourselves up to um create love with someone who fits you okay let's see what the romance angels are here all right some of you have done the release the x thing okay now a couple of messages there releasing the x might be invoking all of this for some of you um that is a message um or some of you are getting yourselves in that position in april to release someone so that you can open yourself up to find somebody who fits you okay or it fits you better look you've got wedding oh my goodness okay virgo um this is definitely on the table for you coming up there's new beginnings in the spring as usual and uh, there's hope okay trust safe to trust in the situation um and it's calling for you to have faith virgo okay um now if you've let go of someone that you knew in the past was your person or they let go of you or there was a situation where you were both forced to separate um i do feel like 
this could be invoking change okay but i'm not going to get too much into a past kind of thing i do feel like it's for some of you that could be the energy and we'll see more as we go forward but overall the message feels like letting go releasing will open you up to having um opportunities it's like a clean slate okay let me see what else is going on here for you virgo one more card for virgo yeah freeing yourself virgo i mean this is just screaming this <laughs> it's just screaming it i mean taking back control of your life um, Virgo, it's just basically a message of like whether someone from the past is invoking, um, is having feelings because you've you've learned to love yourself or you're respecting yourself. That's one thing. Um, or it, it's opening yourself to having new love. I just feel like the overall energy is that if you feel like you've done all that you could do in a past relationship and, you know, it, to the point where if you felt like you gave to the best of your ability and you weren't able to see change in the relationship, um, releasing that is probably going to be, uh, will definitely, not probably, definitely be better for you, okay? Because you don't, if you feel like you have to kill yourself to have a relationship with someone, <laughs> or for someone to meet you halfway you're that's exactly what's going to happen you're going to hit rock bottom if 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 you don't decide to walk away from it and just leave it alone take your hands off the wheel i like to use that analogy um and yet and let god take over spirit the universe whichever and and work on bettering yourself becoming a better person for yourself not for other people but for yourself if, if both people are doing that, then it can only be better for a relationship. But if you feel like, you know, it's April, I've done the best that I can do. I can't do any more. I just need to work on myself and just make me better. That You can't lose in that scenario, okay? You just can't. And I feel like this is a very strong message for you um, to sit with yourself and be happy with who you are. Okay, so you do have the four of wands here. So for some of you, yeah, there is going to be a reunion for sure with somebody going forward. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is all about reuniting with yourself as well. Okay, um, as far as like reuniting with someone, it could be an Aries. But this is mostly like going back to your roots, going back to your family, if that's energetically or physically, um, and celebrating or allowing other people who love you to celebrate you. Um, that's the most important the important thing you can do for yourself. This is the 1111, okay? So in some ways, I do feel like there is someone here or an opportunity here for you to put roots down somewhere in the future okay uh, let me just see what else is going on here some of you might be attending a wedding in april a baby shower an event of some sort um, it's a very positive thing definitely leo energy here um i feel like there's there's going april's will be a time of joy and success okay and i know that sounds very cliche but you know um for a lot of us the sun is get it's coming up more it daylight is a bit longer and there is uh, the weather's getting warmer and there's joy and there's happiness and for some of you there is a reunion with someone and it's a very positive thing okay um uh, it could be letting go of someone can like i said i keep feeling the word today is ev invoke um i feel like you have to respect yourself the sun is all about positive energy towards the self okay it's not just about self-respect but it's also about being happy with who you are you know and loving yourself 
and and accepting yourself right i feel like there will be for some of you i just have to say um hold on a second april 18 no wait april 18th i do feel there will be um maybe a proposal or some of uh, some sort doesn't have to be marriage but some type of um proposal or some type of getting together around april 18th okay could like i said it could be a reunion for some of you um and whether that's a reunion with a lover or a family or an event you go to um reconnecting with another person and celebrating a relationship or happiness a happy family situation as well there's also um somebody could be celebrating um news about a baby okay so you've got the two of wands let me see Virgo. i definitely feel like you're going to be making plans going forward for the summer you know the summer period but you're not letting anybody know what you're doing Virgo. you're up to something for sure you're not saying anything okay you're keeping everything hush hush and quiet about your ideas your goals your plans the things that you want um your desires um what you are seeking some of you are secretly waiting for someone to get their ish together and come correct or come back into your life the the way that you need them to and for you to be um the person that they need you to be and that's just you know there's a small percentage of you who might be doing that <clears throat> something to do with april 24th also i'm picking up here i don't know if that's somebody's birthday um when i'm calling out these numbers not you obviously if you were born in august or september but somebody you could be connecting with okay there's so much going on there's travel here virgo and i feel also like there's going to be a lot there's good news coming to you let me try to see what good news you're going to be getting good news is somebody could be coming to visit you or you may be get, getting invited to travel somewhere okay and uh let me see also april 8th and i think i said that in one of monday's reading last week something came was coming up april 8th okay so you've got the king of cups here and this is the first court card so king of cups is generally someone who is mature um they are philosophical they are well educated this is someone who is very supportive tolerant oodles of empathy nurturing type of person they have a very healing or they're a healer okay but they're also very calm and patient now king of cups can represent the water sign cancer scorpio pisces they could be that could be their sun or anywhere in their chart but they present in that energy okay so there for some of you there may be communication or a connection in april with the king of cups okay king of cups who is heartbroken this person is heartbroken over either an argument or some kind of separation um sees you as the victor virgo whoever this person is they see you a little bit on your high horse <laughs> a little bit kind of like this person sees that you get a lot of attention um or that you have some level of recognition and it it breaks their heart um i don't know why i don't know who this person is but they they kind of feel like i don't know if maybe you ended something um or there's some kind of argument or a breakup and this person sees that you're doing well i don't feel like they're not happy for you virgo but I, I kind of feel like they do sit with that Three of Swords, though, okay? Um, they hope you're okay, also, if you've had some surgery, or whether minor or major. Um, but there's a loss here. And I feel like whoever this person is um, wants to replenish a loss, okay? So, Virgo, I mean, you know, for some of you, this could be somebody new you're connecting with as well, that they um, 
have had heartbreak in the past and you connect with them and this person just wants to overcome their heartbreak connect with you when they meet you and um, I feel like they will and there will be a lot of communication from this person um, I feel like you meet this person and they do kind of like seem a little like they might tell you there might be some communication that they dated someone and it went really really fast and it wound up not working out and they really loved the person or, or just really liked them a lot and they were disappointed or over the loss and and um, I feel like that will be somewhat of a conversation they might have and I see them like kind of saying but I'm back up on the horse I you know I'm I'm still hurting but I'm intent on um you know yeah getting back up on the horse and and being you know like to overcome some kind of problem here so let me take a look a little bit more at let's see what your advice is here Virgo actually I want to see what your advice is okay Oh, so King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. I mean, that's a match there. And, you know, um, if you're showing up like that, um, your advice, though, is basically get connected with how you really feel um, about love, about, you know, how, about your emotions, whether it's for someone in particular or just who you are okay this is your advice here i feel like you've had a lid on your emotions for a while and i see you kind of like taking a look at that cup and seeing how you know you got to take that lid off and open up i feel like your advice here is to stop looking at the fact that you're closed off but take that lid off and release all of your feelings and your emotions and whether you do that through writing or if you do that through drawing or any kind of outlet whatever it is because um, I feel like Virgo you you keep your emotions bottled up I, I'm not sure maybe you don't trust or maybe you don't think your feelings are valid you know feelings aren't facts but they are valid you have to acknowledge your emotions because they you're built with them so I feel like your advice going forward in April is to really take a look at how you feel and um, but while you're doing that don't get too deep into that because you might miss the opportunity coming to you here okay um, Virgo maybe you're a bit extreme you know there are some who are just all up in their feels all the time and they are um, lacking a little bit of um, self-control or self-discipline when it comes to their emotions and then there are some Virgos who are so keep such a tight lid on their feelings that all they want to do is focus on work and nothing else they don't want to share their emotions I feel like the message here is find that sweet spot Virgo where you can feel your feelings but not let them rule you because your feelings change every day or every minute of the day they can you feel one way then you feel another and anything can trigger your emotions and the goal here is to just recognize how you feel and say hello to your feelings whether you're happy or you're sad and but don't let them rule you okay don't don't let your emotions because then you're kind of like a candle in the wind you know you'd be all over the place um it's kind of like keep it real right um emotions can cloud our judgment often that's why they say love is blind <laughs> and it doesn't make it a bad thing it's just that being blind when when love comes in common sense walks out and virgo um it's a good thing to feel love and to to express love and things like that and vice versa um I just feel like the message here is find that sweet spot between recognizing how you feel and then saying nice thank you for visiting happiness sadness sorrow joy thank you for visiting today nice to see you um 
acknowledge them and didn't say, I, you know, I've got, I got to finish what I'm doing here, though. I'm not going to let uh, my sorrows keep me down or drag me down into a negative place and cause me to shut down. Um, and I'm not going to allow my joy to cloud my judgment um, if I'm driving down the car, uh, driving down the road, and there's a huge pothole in the road, I want to make sure that um, I'm staying sane. That I, you know what I mean? Um, joy is almost like um, an, an opioid <laughs> at times, and it can it can be um, cloudy. It can make things cloudy where you kind of are up on cloud nine. Is how I feel. I, so yeah, that th the real message here, Virgo, is uh, feel your feelings, okay, but also acknowledge. The reality of your feelings or the reality of the facts around you okay because i know some of you might absolutely love tigers in the wild um, and love 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 them but that doesn't mean that it might it, it doesn't mean it's a good idea to just go out and get yourself a tiger and walk it down the street <laughs> unless you're a tiger trainer do you know what i mean like keep it real with some things going on in your life here in april okay Oh, Virgo. So yeah, you you definitely have love offer coming in um, that can turn into, um, you know, an everlasting union. And um, make sure that this is what you want, what's coming in. Make sure that it's going to start you guys off on a new journey um, where you both are free and innocent and able to enjoy the time together with each other okay um, this is Aquarius energy here also Virgo Taurus and Capricorn is on the table um, ask yourself do you want to have this new beginning with someone okay because I do feel like the, the opportunity is going to come definitely and there will be some clarity and some truth and some revelation let me see what other message there is here for you Virgo yeah, look, my goodness. Yeah, there's definitely a new love start happening here, Virgo. Um, I just feel like for you, you know, it, it's. It, I feel like it's going to definitely make you happy and you'll just want to like dance on your tippy toes and um, go take this journey and just free yourself and abandon yourself to this. But I really don't. I feel like a true Virgo will abandon themselves only when they feel it's safe to trust. And the message there was, it's safe for you to trust in this situation. Okay, so uh, that's the only time I can view a Virgo ever um, opening themselves up fully and throwing their cares to the wind with someone is if they feel like they could trust fall with them and that person's going to catch them otherwise virgo is just not that person they are not built that way and no matter how hard virgo tries to not be that way they're too grounded to just be up in the sky with bubbles and unicorns virgos enjoy that from time to time but virgo and like taurus and like capricorn it's just how you're built now if you're heavy um earth element in your in your birth chart that's definitely for sure okay there's kind of a spectrum so if you are say heavy in fire in your birth chart um the fire element you might be a bit more passionate and fiery you know and and so it changes a little but as far as like if you are just a true virgo virgo is going to be like you know what if I feel like I am safe and I feel like I can trust you fully and you know of course I know that nobody's perfect but if I feel like the integrity of the relationship is strong and it's good then I will abandon myself to you absolutely if I feel like there won't be any lies um, and I'm not talking about you know did you steal a cookie from the cookie jar? No, I'm talking about like severe lies, betrayals, um, theft, things like that. You know, all those horrible devil type of energies. Once, once Virgo feels safe, Virgo's like a completely different person. Um, then the real person comes out deep inside, but Virgo has to know. Um, and and you guys, I, I'd be I'd be hard pressed to see anybody in the chat disagreeing with me with that. You know, um, it has nothing to do with Virgo uh, trauma or trust issues or anything. It's just how they are. Okay, so Master A, you've learned the spiritual lesson here, Virgo. So you guys have been doing some serious spiritual work. 
um, even looking back on past stuff, looking at yourself. Some of you have taken a look at the twin flame relationship and are coming to terms with, was it a karmic twin flame? Twin flame. <laughs> was it a karmic twin flame or was it a true twin flame? Okay, um, it says it is. So twin flames never forget each other. They do return to one another, but sometimes there is a separation period where they have to um, pull apart, but they never really detach fully. They just, there's lessons. Twin flame relationships are loaded with lessons and growth, and they can be hum humbling, very humbling you you learn how to love in a twin flame relationship <laughs> you really do and um or at least love yourself okay so right now you have weight the timing is not quite right and this is your message here to um <clears throat> just be patient virgo you know virgo is generally the most one of the most patient signs of the zodiac um they're pretty calm and virgos are generally very logical they can reason things out um they don't they aren't usually irrational or overly emotional or um they're, they're the, people look to virgos especially in times of stress and can always rely on virgos because virgo always knows what to do right away and um if you find yourself in a situation where you're like, no, that's not me in this situation at all, then that's something that you have to look at. Okay. Um, the first order of business right now, Virgo, for you is to calm yourself down, soothe yourself, relax, understand, think positively that everything is going to work out for your best good, for your highest best, always. And I feel like right now is not the time or it's not your time right now as as you're listening to this right now it's it's not time for you to do anything it's time for you to just wait and just kind of let the chips fall where they may right because there's some stuff i feel like is up in the air for you there's still more lesson there's still more information that has to come to you and um some of you might already be feeling like okay uh, i always like to say when when in doubt do nothing when in doubt do nothing don't make decisions that you're not sure about because you may regret them later. Um, let me see what the hidden... Uh, somebody has a message for you here and let's see what they want to say to you. I replay our, com our, I replay our conversations over and over. Okay. So somebody that you've had conversations with, voice to voice, or... Um, I don't know, somehow somebody pushes a play button and listens, or they just rethink them over um, maybe analyzing something that was said. It could be you, it could be another person. Um, wow, somebody wishes they could take back their words. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here where I feel like someone wishes that they didn't say a particular thing or certain things to another person and they keep replaying it over and over in their mind it's almost like there's a shame to it i feel like somebody is kind of kicking themselves right now for the things that they said or the way they addressed something through conversation or words uh, i feel like that person needs to forgive themselves and realize that they are not perfect but you know whether that is you or another person uh, somebody's stuck on something here all right so why this person couldn't somebody couldn't let another person get close to them there might have been a dismissive kind of energy um for example someone might have asked another person do you love me and that other person might have responded with um i don't know i can't answer this right now i, I i'm busy oh Ooh. that right there <laughs> okay like it's like okay what do i have to take a number and get in line for that simple it's a yes or no i mean i feel like somebody regrets pushing someone else away or being dismissive in some way or not taking something seriously 
you know, and um, I was just thinking, I don't know, they just gave me, um, they just, uh, they just flashed me a book title cover called Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. I don't know why that just popped in, in my I've never read that book. I should. <laughs> Couldn't hurt, right? Um, but yeah, they're just showing me. Maybe somebody's reading that at this time. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I wish I could share my good news with you. All right, somebody wants to share something positive with you. I wonder what that might be. Should we ask? Let's see if we can find out what good news somebody wants to share. Oh, wow, there's the answer. There's someone here starting to understand their connection, either with another person or with themselves. Oh, Virgo. But somebody can't share it. They can't share with another person that they get it now. And why? Why can they not share that with another person? What's keeping a person from sharing their good news with someone else? All right, we're gonna try this again. What's keeping someone from sharing their good news with Virgo? Wow, two of pentacles reversed. They're struggling and they feel overwhelmed. Why? Mm, King of pentacles. Oh, look at all this pentacle energy. They don't know how you'll take it. All right, that's one message. They don't know how you'll take. Why would that be bad, though? That's good news. They have good news. Oh, <laughs> there's blocking. Oh, there's blocking. Um, do you have this person blocked? where they can't reach you. Maybe that's why the sunglasses is here because there's some stalking or somebody's trying to find you. Um, good news that they get it now. Um, the good news is that they're, they're no longer, um, well, they, they recognize that they had an inability to commit. It overwhelmed them. They were very focused on their work. Um, and it looks like they're they're recognizing that now. They're seeing, um, you know, back to that whole thing. Um, I can't tell you if I let, like, I don't want to talk about love. I'm busy. I'm working. I've got this going on. And they get it that that was a wrong thing. But it looks like they can't tell you. Um, they wish they could if the opportunity came or if you have this person, if you've pushed them away. You know, um, I know some of you have someone pushed them away because no matter what they say, you don't trust them, you don't believe them, that you think it could be a lie um, or that they just might be saying this to um, try to reconnect with you. You know, um, there's a trust issue. If there's a trust issue, that's something you need to work on with yourself, Virgo. You need to work on that within as well. Um, but apart from all of that, this person feels like... Um, there's there'll be pushback or that you've pushed them away or you've pushed back on them okay this is turning into <clears throat> you know yeah you do have a new opportunity for love but i don't i can't you know is it a new beginning yeah it's there and the aces are always potentials they're never they're never um uh, guarantees they're always potentials but um this person knows that you have pushed them away because you're going through a grieving process or you are um, sad or you are healing or you feel uncertain about things. I feel like they might be trying to give you some space as well, but they really do want to tell you how they feel or tell you that they've learned some stuff here. 
about you know themselves which okay that's fine um so that's that tarot part of the story let's see what other messages there are here for you virgo um listen i'm not telling you to open up the door to i don't know your situation i don't know how you feel i don't know if you were dealing with someone that was like just to the point where it was so bad it had to end and you're not going back if that's the case do you virgo you do what you have to do i i i, I don't want to the only advice i have to give to you right now is to look inward at how you feel about things and to get clarity within self to find your truth within yourself um to focus on you you can't go wrong with that right um i would never tell you to go back or return to someone that um it was just that when you left you you felt like a worse person than when you were with them because they did not have a good impact on you um because of whatever was going on with them that person needs to deal with their own stuff okay um but I will tell you that, um, and, and I, wouldn't, I would never tell you not to go back to them either. I think it's up to you here. And it starts with you about how you feel. I feel like you've stifled your emotions and your feelings long enough. And I feel like it's time to start opening up. If you keep that stifled, your emotions and your feelings or your inability to express or communicate because someone dismissed you in the past, if you now if you keep stifling and they're gone then they're still pr essentially there you have to undo everything that you allowed another person to do that, that they that may have done to you and now you have to open yourself up again um if you don't you're gonna evaporate <laughs> that, that's like a cancer to the soul so find an outlet for expression okay that's the first start here you've got spying online right as soon as i i just saw that so yeah you do have somebody who here who's watching you they're keeping an eye on you i don't feel like it's, it's i don't feel like it's bad it's just that this person is not let go okay wow you've got peace i haven't seen this card in a while the influence of balance and harmony are over you right now virgo leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life all good things are happening behind the scenes trust that god is working in your life even when you feel discouraged be patient and trust his timing okay that's all you need to do virgo like I said, when in doubt, do nothing. There's nothing else for you to do here but seek peace. Seek peace within yourself. Seek peace within your heart. Create peace every day in your in your life in some form or another. Um, and let things evolve the way they're they're meant to. But you know, try to open yourself up. And that doesn't mean to meet another person and just automatically open yourself up. I know that's difficult. Just without any heartbreaks for you virgo um take your time with things okay and um i'm hearing never let anybody tell you how you should be know who you are virgo and be who you are okay who you are underneath it all oh they just gave me that song who was that gwen this gwen stefani underneath it all i love that song so um let me see what other message there is here for you okay positive vibes very good test of faith and boundaries showing up here for you virgo for sure um oh this is a strong message virgo positive vibes um seek to i don't feel like it's healthy to live only in positive vibes 24 7 um because i feel like we have to have the positive and negative that's the yin yang you can't really appreciate the positive unless you have some negative right but strive for positivity always okay but don't beat yourself up if you're not feeling positive about things <clears throat> excuse me it's okay to have your down days it's okay to cry it's okay to feel like oh I just feel yucky today. I don't want to face the world. That's okay. That means you need to do some self-care, okay? And that means you need to take uh, some time for yourself, right? Just love yourself. Love your life. The energies are strong and powerful, okay? And I feel like right now your, your faith is being tested as well as your boundaries, okay? 
So that's a real strong message there for you as well. All right, let me take a look at the Chinese signs and we'll see you and another person. Um, if it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it's fine. Anybody want to show up here? All right, Year of the Tiger. Isn't that crazy? I was just talking about a tiger. Was I not? I was, right? Some of you are going to go and get that tiger. <laughs> but Year of the Tiger. I'm going to be out there with a big old tiger leash, walking around. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. <laughs> Don't come near me. Okay, Year of the Ox. Year of the Monkey. All right, we're just going to pull it. Year of the Rabbit. That's the year we are in right now. It's a year of peace. Year of the Rat. And the Monkey again. Year of the Pig. Year of the Snake. And Year of the Dog. Okay, very beautiful. All right, Virgo. Um, let's get a, some uh, names and or random messages here for you. Whoa, avalanche. Okay. Somebody's born September 9th or September 8th. Okay, they just gave me the name Mimi or Maureen. Mimi or Maureen. Okay. And I'm hearing Asia. Um, name or it could be a country um and uh for those of you who have had excessive amounts of rain um i feel like april 10th which is right in the middle of april i mean i don't know where wherever you are in the world go outside on april 10th because it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day where you are like the rain's gonna stop i just heard that okay like, make plans, but keep an eye on the weather forecast, please. <laughs> well, it's raining, and House of Virgo said it wasn't going to rain, but I'm going outside anyway because I can make the sun come out. <laughs> it's not for all of you. Okay. All right, we have the initial S, first or last name. Somebody's name starts with an S, ends with an S, like, or starts their last name with an S. Um, and also the letter V. So I just heard Sheila and Sean. Okay, I heard Siobhan as well. And uh, Vasquez, I guess that's the last name. Vasquez and Vlo. I can't say it. <laughs> um, I guess it's um, it's a Russian or a, a Russian or it's uh, uh, it starts. It's V O L is what I'm hearing. V V O L. Okay, or V L O. Sorry, my bad. I can't pronounce it. Um, oh, okay. Picnic by the river. How interesting. A picnic by the river. Or looking out at the river. Um, someone goes or is or will be or just was looking out at a river. Messages. Something to do with a river. Okay. Okay, somebody drives an 18-wheeler, I just heard. And, oh, RPGs. What the heck are RPGs? I don't know. I just heard RPG. And somebody creates music, like um, soul, R&B, rap, somewhere along the lines of that. And... Um, Oh, 
okay. So they're, okay, they're giving me um, a, uh, an emerald, or like a green gem or an emerald of some sort. It might be like a, um, like a heart, green heart or an emerald or some sort. And, um, <laughs> all right, so uh, April 7th is a significant day. Um, hold on a minute. And I know, like, some of you are celebrating Easter. So the Easter weekend, the 7th through the 9th, and I'll be doing your weekend reading soon for that. But um, <clears throat> Easter weekend, I don't know, maybe somebody's, like, hiding Easter eggs for children or decorating or painting Easter eggs or, or doing some type of Eastery kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling like a, a strong, it's strong Easter egg vibe. It's not so much Easter, but a strong Easter egg vibe. Okay. And also, um, somebody has a connection with a Libra as well as a Gemini. And of course, Gemini is always in the readings. But as you guys can see, as of late, it's been um, the water sign, the King of Cups. When I first started my readings here on my channel, the Emperor was here all the time. It was crazy. I don't know if you guys have been here that long. But if you remember, if you have, the Emperor was always showing up in the readings. It was crazy. Um, and then we went through a period of Gemini all the time. Now we've got the King of Cups. Okay. Um, so that would be significant for someone for sure and i'm also picking up someone likes to wear turquoise whether that's jewelry or clothing um or just likes the color or is painting a room a light bluish turquoise or just uh, there's an attraction to turquoise okay could be very um if you live out in the southwest there's, there's something to do with, um, or someone lives in the Southwest, there's something to do with turquoise. Okay, so let's, you guys, get into um, the dice to see what birth dates and um, other numbers are going to show up. And then I'll do your charms, and then we'll be done. All right, so you have Leo again, Sagittarius, Gemini, of course, and Capricorn. Um so, all right, so what I'm going to just do is I'm going to call out birth dates first. So we're looking at September 3rd, 7th, 8th, 5th, September 6th, the 9th, the 10th, and the 12th. Okay, that's September. Um, if that's your birthday, put it in the, um, the chat there. Okay. Sagittarius, Pisces, twice, and Virgo showing up here. All right. So as far, I'm not seeing any August birth dates. So maybe next time we have the numbers three, zero, seven. One, two, three, one, <clears throat> and eight, five, one, zero. Okay, let me see. Oh, I just saw August 23rd right there. Okay, for you, Augusts. <clears throat> oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, there we go. 23rd again, <clears throat> August 26th, 28th, August 29th, and August 31st. All right, so, um, so here's some more numbers. 1171. These could be phone numbers. I don't know what's going on here. Um, 2039, 6208, we got double Aries here showing up out of nowhere like that, and Scorpio and Pisces again, and um, 9839, <clears throat> 
So if those are like the some numbers in your phone number, um, these are strong messages for you, especially. Um, I'm picking up the age 37, 31, 39, um, 26, 38, and I'm also getting, um, okay, so these are, I guess these are, um, these are roads, 203, uh, 117, or 11, <laughs> okay, that's interesting, and um, someone's born in 1971, 1976, 1979, <clears throat> 1983, 1989, and 1967. I'm also picking up 61, 63, and 66. Everybody give a shout out to Steve-O for putting the numbers <laughs> in the chat because I know it's got to be so frustrating to keep up with it, but he does such an excellent job. Yay for Steve. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Let me see what your charms are. And if any of that resonated, please do post it in the chat. Your birth dates, phone number. Well, not don't post your whole phone number, but uh, your, your, however it resonates and everything else that goes along with that. Okay, some charms for you, and then we're going to get going. And again, you guys, personal reading. Go over to my website. I believe tomorrow you'll be able to book with Casey, um, and he will be able to answer, uh, do readings for you guys. Um, so please, please, please trust me. I would not put someone to come work with me unless I knew that they were capable and uh, you will absolutely love to talk to him. I'm telling you because I absolutely love to talk to him. Okay. So. All right, Virgo. So we're starting off with, um, Looks like a guitar of some sort. I will show you this, hold on a second. So there's a musician here somewhere or someone who does something with stringed instruments. Oh, you don't wanna focus? Oh, that's all right. Okay, so like a guitar um, or some type of maybe a bass. I see it's got like, it looks like it has four strings. So someone plays a bass or any kind of um, stringed instrument, it, very significant. So somebody could play it or just be fiddling with it. It could be a fiddle or um, is maybe going to see a concert or a show or enjoying some music. Okay, oh wow, amazing. Now you have an angel, Virgo. Okay, this looks like a Christmas tree topper to me. But um, ask your angels for protection. I feel like right now, if you've done that, you are being protected at this time. But um, I don't know, maybe you need to go find like go to the Christmas tree shop and see if they have any angels for your tree this year. But there's definitely something here about an angel watching over you. Um, or, you know, this could be a child. This could also be... Um, um, that's a very spiritual message. Um, or you see some flowers that look like angels. You might see a flower that looks like an angel. Or maybe you just recently have uh, seen a flower that looks like an angel. Somebody could be making a song called Angel or listening to a song called Angel. Wasn't there a song called Angel of Mine? That's very 80s, very 90s. Um, yeah, okay. One more. I just want to get one more. Okay. That's a very odd thing. Let me show you. Tremendously odd. We have um, some kind of a saw <laughs> for cutting trees or wood. I have don't know I've ever used something like that. Um, but yeah, there's uh, somebody must use a saw or is using some kind of blade. Um, I hope you're not shaving with this thing, man. <laughs> but there's something to do with saw somebody like a craftsman or construction or works in a trade like that where they use saws or um, you hear it some sawing or something outside your wherever you are you hear a saw somebody's working with some machinery or tools this is definitely your reading if you're hearing that um, or if you recognize this uh, somebody you know might have a saw like this you might not even know anyone with a saw 
and you might just see that kind of tool somewhere. And if you do, after you listen to this reading, or you may have recently, this is a message for you because that's a very odd thing. Um, I don't know if it's an odd thing to have a saw like that, but to show up in the spiritual reading, um, some of you are just, you know, cutting things off or you are sawing things in half. I don't know what you're doing. I hope it's not like a horror movie. Maybe you're watching a horror movie chainsaw kind of something or something all right you guys so i'm gonna leave your reading there that was so much fun i hope you enjoy the hour long don't forget if you don't want to do personal readings with me if you can't afford it you can just join my um, channel become a member it's 9.99 a month divided by 30 days is how much it will cost you to pop in on sundays ask a question and I will pull a card for you, okay? Um, if you don't want to become a member or get a personal reading, um, you can just send a super chat with your question in the super chat in the live stream, and I will answer it for you, okay? Any amount, it's fine. Um, but I'm probably going to set it to members only because we've been getting some spam, and that's going around a lot these days. I've already had to shut down my comments, so I want to try to keep the spammers out. It's very inexpensive to join, but it's understandable. If you can't do it right now, you can catch me next time, okay? So, all right, Virgo, I hope you guys have a fantastic um March uh, 27th. Holy moly. And um, I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.